Has something wondrous caught your eye? Well, if it isn't Duke Cayenne and the Azure Chevalier. Azure Chevalier. Is that Crow? I'm not sure. I haven't seen it for a while. What was this uh, album? This uh, truth album with uh, blood. I think. Oh, so that this is Rufus. He's supposedly the the an other grey house, north and other grey house. He is supposed to be also the most richest house, I think. Does it not bring you joy to look down upon our land from such great heights? Especially when one considers our victory in the war that rages on it all but in our grasp. I'm afraid I have far too much on my mind at the moment to take in such pleasures. But the war is indeed raging on, just as you say. And with every day that passes, I worry more for the people of my father's province caught up in it. <laughs> so young, and yet you've already adopted such a delightful perspective. It's clear to me now why your father holds you in such high esteem. Had I a son like you, then I too would take notice of the achievements you've carried in the war thus far. <laughs> you flatter me, sir. Green though I may be, I intend to do all in my power to carry out your will as Supreme Commander of the Noble Alliance. <laughs> Please! I am Supreme Commander, yes, but I wouldn't permit merely anyone to take the position of Chief of Staff. Rest assured, you have earned my favor. We are both equally burdened to guide this conflict to a swift conclusion, all for the good of the common people who suffer from it. If only they understood the lengths we go to for them. And on that note, I assume you've already decided on how we will be proceeding? At present, 60% of the nation is under our control, but on the other hand, the Imperial Army still has a full 50% of its military might remaining. The key to our victory lies in deciding how best to divide the remaining armored divisions between the East and West. <laughs> Excellent. Our Alliance forces have you as well as the Panzer Soldats. We have General Aurelia and Brigadier General Wallace, two of the finest soldiers the provincial armies have ever seen. To say nothing of the Azure Diva and the countless other allies lending us their aid. Our victory is only a matter of time. Wouldn't you agree, Crow? <laughs> I wouldn't get too comfortable if I were you. Just so we're on the same page here, Divine Knights aren't omnipotent or anything. Ordine isn't going to be wiping fortresses like Gorelia off the map in an instant the way Crossbell's Ion did. They're not that mind-bogglingly powerful, sorry to say. <laughs> Come now, Crow. You're so modest. Well, no matter. We needn't concern ourselves with Crossbell for the present. Kiliath Osborne has fallen. No longer will we be plagued by that detestable man and his foolish ideals. <sighs> However, his loathsome legacy still lives on. This great nation has been filled with undesirable pollutants as a result of him and his followers. Our primary task shall be to wash away the filth and restore Erebonia to its rightful, glorious form. A land ruled by nobles. As you wish. <sighs> ah, I nearly forgot. Regarding the other Chevalier, I'm in the midst of pondering if there is a way to get him to join us. And being that you're such a close friend of his, your assistance may be required at some point. Give it some thought, won't you? Understood. What is that no, on his dead? No. <coughs> is there a dead? No. You don't think it'll be That's quite as easy as our friend the Duke does, do you? I can see it written all over your face. <laughs> Afraid not. The army isn't the only thing we need to worry about. Not with the RMP and the intelligence division at large. Then there's the fact we couldn't catch the Crimson Wings. 
whatever other potential threats piling up on the side. Plus, you know, your brother's out there too. It's way too early to be getting cocky. <laughs> My brother is no less a son of the House of Alberea. I'm expecting him to show me the best he can muster, and I don't doubt he'll come at me with everything he's got. But ultimately... Unforeseen circumstances are exactly the reason we carry only the finest insurance. Are they not, dear ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> Feels kind of overkill having all of us on the same side. Still, this is how wars are fought. Eh, whatever. So long as we get to have our fun. <laughs> Just don't forget. We're not here for you. We won't be working together forever. <laughs> oh, but the fireworks that will spark from our partnership will be ever so beautiful. <sighs> yeah, I guess I can help. Point taken. I can't see anyone or anything out there having a chance against this group of monsters. <laughs> That's the idea. I leave the unseen side of this War of the Lions reenactment in your capable hands. War of the Lions, you see, talking about uh... FF tactics. You're up against the Iron Bloods, the Crimson Wings, and the Horned Lions. <clears throat> With opponents like that, you needn't hold anything back. Go forth and enjoy your fill of battle. So now the game properly begins. That was just all the pull, 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 It's going to fall off that thing. <coughs> How to see the get on top of the pillar in the first place? Eh? Is this a different? Okay, no. So it's too. Okay, it's two different knives. Now what use does a lion has for a horn? Like, what? Is there a unicorn lion? U U L U L lion. Let me think about this. This one is the when the first maybe I should save over this one. Actually.
this one was just before the village. There was a lot of stuff that happened. I think saving all this one is more good. I'll try to leave as many. Like, if I re replay the game, I can I start at some point. Of, some story point. I wonder. The scars left on Ymir were fortunately much more shallow than anyone had anticipated. Partly thanks to the fact that the number of assailants was relatively small, there were no fatalities. And the next morning, everyone worked together to clean up the damages and restore the village to its original form. Oh, that, that is easy. Why not just build some more building right it, you know, if they can like, repair this damage so easily. It's not in the age of empires, but you can, once the buildings are damaged, you can However, just easily fix my father was heavily use the wounded, reasons. and he had been in a deep sleep ever since. And while we knew his injuries weren't life-threatening, he would still need to be under careful watch for some time. Meanwhile... His father kind of looked like Tobo. Maybe older, the to older Tobo. You're set on leaving now, aren't you? I am. I realize that with Dad unconscious, I should probably stay and protect Ymir in his place. Maybe you could even say that I've got a duty to do so as his son. But I've got something else that I need to do, and to me, that takes priority. If that's your decision, Reen, then I've no intention of stopping you. Like I said, when you and Elise first left here to attend Thor's and Saint Astraea. It's a mother's duty to watch over her children and wish them well as they fly the nest. Sen Ostor, okay, that's the place where uh, he seeks to win. Mom, thanks. <coughs> <laughs> I'll be sure to watch over your father and this village in your absence. Do all that you can to bring Princess Alfin and Elise back safely. Will do. Toval, Selene, please, take care of him. You can count on me. On my honor as a member of the Bracer Guild, I'll do everything in my power to see your request through. I'd tag along even if he said no. It's about time we went and looked for Emma. Thanks, you two. I'll be counting on you. Okay, Mom. We'll see you soon. Take care, and may the Goddess watch over you. Your mom's a strong woman, all right. She really is. I'll have to do everything I can to bring Elise and Princess Alfin back safely so that I don't let her down. No. I will bring them back. <laughs> Guess we can skip the pep talk if you're that fired up, huh? Make sure to try and repay all that support she's given you the next time you swing by here. Speaking of next time, it's time to go. We're stopping by the valley before leaving, aren't we? Yeah. I want to see how Valimar's doing. Once we're ready, let's head out. That's a useful feature. <coughs> Let's see what's here. Yeah, Wind's dead is uh, in the bed because uh, it's this little bed.
Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff to do in this game, the gameplay wise. Just like the first game. However, it seems don't really need to do most of them. The most important things to do is the earth. Pawn. That sounds nice, could be good. This is the most important thing that comes. Now he has a four hundred one fifteen strength. Four hundred sixteen now. Okay. Useful. 
no fucking idea how to equip it. Okay. Okay, you equip it by. The strength of this not the fucking how the decreases oh, that doesn't seem okay. I'll just stick with the force. But it's good to have it ready. Should buy those two items. 